Okay, <coughs> this is my first one through. So basically, what we have here is this PHP my admin up at the top there in the left, and I've got a database already created called MOW for Meals on Wheels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new table called Tests, and I'm going to show you what the scaffolding feature looks like on Cake PHP. So scaffolding is basically a way to automatically look at what the table has and then be able to provide a front end, a very basic front end, so that you can enter details into the back end database. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a table called tests with three fields. So we'll, the first one, uh, the first column always has to be an ID. It's an integer. There's the primary key, and it's the auto increment. And these other ones we'll call name and email. And this will be a varchar 100. This can be a varchar 100 as well. And this can be nine. That's just your basic creation of a database that you would have in Access. So I'm just going to save that. So this is the PHP admin, and then this is for the back end users. Um, with PHP my admin, if you wanted to, you can insert a record. But what we're going to do is we're going to create that via the Cake PHP interface. <coughs> now with Cake PHP, you do need to know a bit of PHP. It's not as simple. Um, but I guess with Access, you have to know how to work that too. But within the Cake PHP, I have to create something called a controller, and I set uh, something called a scaffold. And I've already set that, and I've done that in another window. But what I'm going to do now is go into my tests, and as you can see, it's got ID, name, and email. Now, at the moment, there's no actions, but look, there's a new test that we can use. So let's click on new test. So the name will be Roland. The email is roland.mossburden at gmail.com. And when I submit it, ta-da, we have something here. Now, we can actually go in and view that record. We can edit that record, put an exclamation mark, and submit. And we can delete that record. Okay. Let's add another one. Andrew, let's see, Andrew K. Kent at SBConsulting.com. Submit. And let's create a new one. Get myself back in there. So it can be quite powerful. And that's pretty much it. Well, what I might do is I might actually go and delete the email part. So I'm going to hit X in there. So it's actually dropping the email field from the database tests. <coughs> and when we re reload this, we'll find that we've got that there as well. So if I was to go in and add a field, so add one field at the end of the table and call it Let's say, for example, the checks box uh, um, over 18. And what we'll do is we'll call it a tiny int with a length value of 1. And what Cake PHP will do is we'll treat this as a checkbox. So I'm going to save that. And when we go into here and we edit, we'll have a checkbox over 18. And you'll see that it'll actually go in as a 1 in the database. So it's smart enough to be able to work out that, hey, if you've called it a tiny int one, which is either a one or a zero, you can treat it as a checkbox, a true or, true or false. And that's basically it. It does take a while to master, and I'm not saying it's right for you, but uh, it's definitely something to consider. Anyway, I'll leave you to it, and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Bye.